Hello, welcome to ClickTate Meeting Meaningful Use Requirements Stage 1. This discussion will be geared primarily towards Meaningful Use Stage 1 requirements utilizing the ClickTate electronic medical record. To see a list of the Meaningful Use requirements, click the Reporting tab at the top of each page and then select Meaningful Use. The reportable Meaningful Use requirements are listed. It's important to note with Meaningful Use that there are some requirements which you, for which you do not need a percentage and these are just requirements that you would just say yes or no when you do your attestation. It's also important to note that each practice is required to have a security risk analysis performed and this is one of the Meaningful Use requirements that you will be asked. So make sure that your practice has performed a security risk analysis and make sure that uh, you have a business associate agreement in place with everyone uh, uh, that you're doing business with. We are going to choose a patient and I'm going to walk through a typical visit and show you how you can meet almost every meaningful use requirement just in the course of your, biz of your visits. First of all, the first step is to make sure that you have an accurate address for each patient. You can open up the address window, verify the address, and you can also edit the race and ethnicity for each patient. There's also a spot for language and primary physician, although language and primary physician are not meaningful use requirements. When I have a patient uh, coming into my office, the first thing I do is actually ask my nurse to collect some data as she's rooming the patient. The first thing are the vital signs. This is a meaningful use requirement and the vital signs that are required are height, weight, and blood pressure. You can record vital signs by clicking the vital signs tab or opening up the vital signs window. We'll just go under the quick, quick Links tab and click Record Today's Vitals. We'll add vitals, and each vital sign may be added by going through the drop-down list. the body mass index will be automatically calculated. That is one of the meaningful use requirements. Again, you're required to have weight, height, and blood pressure. You can now see that the vital signs are added under the Quick Links tab and also under the Vital Signs tab. The second thing that I ask my nurse to do is verify the patient's allergies and medications. My nurse can open up the patient's medication list, click Review and Reconcile, and then verify with the patient that they are indeed on those medications. If you have documents, you may pull those in for a side-by-side -side comparison. Once you're satisfied that the medications are correct and they're all checked, you can check Record as Reviewed and Reconciled and exit. If you need to make changes, you may do that in the medication e-prescribing area, and we'll go into that in a separate video. The next thing I ask my nurse to do is to record the psychosocial history, specifically smoking. And we'll say this patient does not smoke has never smoked and we'll make them a never smoker recode 4. Up until this point, if we go back and look at our reporting page and pull up our meaningful use reports, we have updated the allergy list, the medication list,
We have recorded and charted changes in vital signs. We have recorded demographics and we have recorded smoking status. So we are well on our way. Let's go back into our patient chart now and document our visit. To document a visit, anything that's on the face sheet will automatically be pulled into the note if you desire that. So we're going to create a new note and we're going to use a blank medical note. When the medical note is pulled up, you can actually see that the current medications, allergies, and the vital signs are pulled into the note. We're going to make this a simple note relating to hypertension, and we're just going to do a hypertension follow-up for this patient. I'm not going to do a lot of changes. We'll say that the patient has had some mild edema. We're going to go to our plan, and we're going to ask the patient to eat a low-salt diet. We're going to ask the patient to exercise daily, and we're going to ask the patient to continue the current medications. We're also today going to check a basic metabolic panel. We did not add any new medications, but we did give the patient a pamphlet regarding hypertension. This is another meaningful use requirement. We're going to ask the patient to return for a follow-up visit in three months. To complete your meaningful use requirements with the note, we will actually print a visit summary for the patient. And this will put into the visit summary that, to decrease the sodium intake and engage in a regular exercise program. The visit summary will also include the patient's current medications, their vitals from the day, and any tests that you did on the patient. You can also generate orders electronically, satisfying the computerized provider order entry section. And we'll save that to the tracking sheet. Once we've completed the note, we will sign and lock the note. And exit the console, returning to the patient's face sheet. Returning to the reporting page and returning to the meaningful use reports, we can now see that we have met the active medication allergy list, active medication list, computerized provider order entry. Had we written prescriptions, we would have satisfied the generate permissible prescriptions electronically, patient specific education resources, vital signs, demographics smoking status, and we now have an up-to-date problem list. So just in the course of an office visit, we have satisfied most of the meaningful use requirements. I will also point out that further information regarding meaningful use can be found by clicking the meaningful use link and opening the About Medicare and Medicaid EHR incentive program document. I hope this has been helpful. There will be further videos outlining each specific meaningful use requirement in detail, so please be watching for those.